First up, procedural lines. If you ever tried creating wavy or zigzag lines in After Effects, you know what a nightmare it can be. And before you say, just use wave or or zigzag, uh, no, those effects fake the look of a wave, but they don't actually change the path of the shape layer, it's still just a straight line. So how do we make real zigzags, waves or even tapered wave lines with full control over amplitudes and wavelengths? Well, for zigzags, we'll use this expression along with three slider controls. Number of vertices, basically number of zigs and zags, line length and amplitude. Now we have full control and our zigzag line is indeed a path, meaning we can use trace path and attach anything to it. Pretty cool, right? For smooth wavy lines, the setup is almost the same, except wavy lines use bezier curves instead of sharp angles. So alongside the line length and amplitude, we're adding wavelength, distance between two waves, and points count, basically how smooth our line will be. And if you're thinking, why don't we just set the point count to 1000 and call it a day? Well, because your PC will probably blow up. The smoother the line, the heavier render. So just find some nice balance between smoothness and performance. Finally, the coolest type of our procedural lines, tapered wave lines. Same setup as the wave line, but we add one more parameter, bias or tapper. Bias goes from minus 100, 200, letting you control where the wave peaks along the line. Left, center, right. Perfect for procedural animations, dynamic backgrounds, or motion graphics that need extra flair. All right, before I show you the second expression, just imagine this. Years 2005. Netflix wasn't a thing, streaming didn't exist. If you wanted to watch a movie at home, you grabbed a DVD. Ironically, DVDs are remembered for something way cooler than movies the iconic bouncing logo screensaver. That little logo gliding around the screen, hitting edges, changing directions, while everyone silently rooted for it to hit the corner. Started as a simple screensaver, but it became something much more. It was a shared experience, a cultural meme. It even showed up in the legendary TV show The Office, went viral in bar reaction videos, and there's even a website, of course, bouncingdvdlogo.com, where you can watch it endlessly. And now you can recreate it in After Effects with a single expression. Add this expression to the layer's position property, if you want it faster or slower, tweak the horizontal and vertical speed variables. Then add another expression to the fill color, so the logo changes color wherever it hits a board. Pure magic. Now, while you're hopelessly waiting for it to hit the corner, if you want more expressions like the one I'm showing in this video, check out our free library with over 130 After Effects expressions. I'll link it in the description below. And for the last expression, we're still in the 2000s, technically 1999. You're probably familiar with the movie trilogy called The Matrix. For younger generations watching us, uh, it's the place referenced by Andrew Tate, the thing you need to escape from. What color is your guy? <laughs> anyway, in the opening scene, there's an iconic digital rain, cascading numbers, letters, and symbols dropping endlessly. If you ever wanted to create that effect in After Effects, here's how. We'll use this expression on the text layers with three sliders. One for number of rows, one for number of columns, and one for frequency. And the drop-down menu for style. Binary, zeros and ones, standard numbers from zero to nine, and letters A to Z. It's perfect for backgrounds and secondary animations without having to mess around with keyframes. One could easily say by using this matrix style expression, you're actually escaping the matrix. I'm just gonna shut myself down. <laughs>